average temperature of regular season games is 75 degrees. Most season games have been played in frigid temperatures as low as 38 degrees. So we want to know how extreme cold weather affects baseball. When a player is exposed to a cold environment, his body has to work harder to stay warm. In order to maintain a normal core body temperature of around 98 degrees, the cardiovascular system diverts blood flow to the essential organs rather than to the extremities like the hands and the feet. This decreasing blood flow consequently can reduce grip strength by more than 50% and nearly double the time it takes for the body to react to stimuli. Helps explain why, for example, in 2010, players in games with temperatures 45 and below had batting averages 10% lower and committed 18% more errors during games in warmer temperatures. The cold weather doesn't just affect the players, it also affects the baseball itself. The standard MLB baseball has a coefficient of restitution or bounciness of around 0.55. This ratio means that all things being equal, the ball rebounds with 55% its original velocity. In warm temperatures, the molecules that make up the ball spread apart, increasing kinetic energy, and in turn, make the ball bouncier. But in the cold, the molecules bundle up together, reducing the coefficient of restitution by as much as 4%. Air molecules outside the ball also move closer together, increasing the density of the air. Denser air means the ball has to essentially push through more molecules during its flight, effectively slowing its velocity and shortening its flight distance. Factors are why 10 degrees colder can mean three feet shorter fly balls. <laughs>